Protect your neck, both front and back, from a variety of missiles or a close-up attack. If you need some steel that's a very safe bet, then you'll want to make sure you have a gorget. Oh, hello again, friends. Lauren back with you, and, uh, I have a piece of armor. Oh, <gasps> yes. Of course, this is just something that I wanted to buy because, and I can't remember who said it, one of the comments, one of you wanted me to talk more about gorgets and uh, Bever's pieces of armor, and so I have a piece of armor. Uh, as a kind of belated birthday gift, I bought myself this from the local dark education shop here in Calgary, and now you're supposed to have another piece of armor underneath. This really should go over a uh, Kuirasa breastplate, but it still looks cool cost me but it's if you look up um if you look up gorget or gorget if you will um but i think it's gorget in french or gorget some people might say but i like gorget and um, go on and on anyway so a lot of times you'll just see this piece you won't have the actual protection for the neck and this is what really makes it the gorget and so if you want some actual accuracy, this is what the PC you want. Just having this over top. Yeah, there's, if you had your uh, cuirass, your breastplate, it's going to come down to about there because you need the motion. But the pieces all overlap. So if I had the plate underneath, it would all move. So that as I'm moving, everything kind of slides and overlaps. And you can kind of see that a little bit. Now, this overlaps on this side. And it overlaps on this side. So these are two pieces, and it's riveted together here. So this rivet here allows to slide open. So when I undo the strap, and then there's a little pin, so you've got to move the two parts aside, and then this, on this side, it hinges up. It's tricky to put this on. I had to use a mirror in order to put this on. Uh, so doing this myself really proves that having a second person there to help you put on your armor very important. So when we're talking about the 15th century in particular, but even through the 14th and into the 15th century, but this 15th century piece of armor, oh, you need some help. One, two people certainly are going to help you get dressed in your armor. It's not easy to just get everything in place because it has to overlap and pin and lock and strap and there's a lot of work in order to get all this together. So you need help. You definitely have to have that. Now, one good thing about this is I'm well protected, the neck, the back, so your spine, the sides of the neck. You can imagine, now yes, this is the sharp rondel, so be careful, but you can imagine attacks, someone comes up, is trying to get in, stab the neck, it's just sliding up and it's catching, it's hooking, so this top lame or plate here, this strip, is actually round rolled a little bit up, so that if the dagger comes in, it's actually then pushing away. So it's pretty good defense, downward strikes, and it's all shaped, so you can see that it is shaped, a little center ridge here, and it's meant to deflect everything away from this vulnerable spot. Because let's face it, your neck has got arteries in it. You got juggler, you got blood supply up to the brain here, you got blood supply away from the brain there, of course, your throat, your spine, a lot of things. I mean, you get hit in the throat with something. If you get stabbed in the throat, where does the blood go? Well, you're starting to breathe it. Gruesome stuff, I know. But you don't want to choke on your own blood. You don't want to lose that. So it's important. So Gorget needs to have protection. Now, this is supposed to go over other armor. I could have put on the mail shirt, but I didn't want to take apart the display where it is way in the back there. Um, but you wear it over other armor as well. Because my uh, more 14th century style gambits in here, not really 15th, but um, yeah, it's not quite thick enough. So there is a bit of room because you're supposed to have your cuirass, your breastplate, which would actually curve outward and form this kind of hollow chamber underneath. Now, what we'll do is we'll grab this helm here. And the bar boot isn't really exactly paired for this. It's probably wear this with a style called an armette. I don't have an armette, but you can see, while there is going to be some rubbing, because this doesn't sit, it's a little big on my head, this size. 
but you can see, look at that. Up, down, a lot of protection. So if you're trying to hit, even if you're trying to stab under and come up under the helm, it's much more difficult now. So when you pair it with a helm of the right type, it's definitely going to improve your defenses. Now, of course, what's my favorite? My kettle helm. But you can see, so if you had a soldier or a man-at-arms, look at that protection on the back here. The way that the brim of this helm comes down, I've got a lot of protection on the back, even onto the sides, but I still have my vision. I can hear, I can do this up. I am going to, there we go. So just quickly strap it on there. And uh, yeah, so now you can see there's a lot of protection. So even if all you had was a gorget and a kettle helm, look at all of this zone. People coming around trying to hit the side. There's a lot of angles that it's going to be really difficult to get to my vulnerable spots. So this offers a lot of good protection. Move in a little bit closer so we can get a good look at it. But yeah, now if I had a bever, that would come up be this piece would be forged solid up to about there. So I don't own a bever, but a bever is this, but covering the face. So it actually extends outward and around. So that would be a bever. The gorget is just throat protection. But make sure when you're looking, talking about gorget, if you're looking it up for, for a costume piece for LARP, it doesn't have to have the actual protection because, you know, it's just cosplay or LARP, it's fine. But if you were doing some artwork or you're researching armor, writing a story, you definitely want to make sure that it's protected. But your neck, your throat, the size of your neck, your spine in the back, that you have good protection. And even when wearing the Kettle Helm, I've got a good range of defense here. But I still have good mobility. I can still turn my head fairly far without any issues. And I feel quite protected. Even a little bit of protection for the collarbone on the side here. Now, um, it's not too heavy. Uh, this is only a 16 gauge or 1.5 millimeter steel, so it's it's thick. It'll absorb strikes, but it's not as thick as a real medieval piece would probably be to protect this spot. But as a costume piece, it's certainly <laughs> awesome, and uh, it looks pretty good, and I'm, I'm quite happy with it. Um, Maybe, but other armor pieces I definitely need to have custom made, so I just can't buy a whole bunch of pieces off of the shelf and put them all together. They don't always work. So I could probably have this and have it included if I ever commissioned armor, but I think I just like it as a costume piece you can wear. You can be that kind of soldier look to it. So 15th century soldier with kettle helm, a few bits of plate armor, halberd, no, no, spear probably, halberd is... A little later um but it could count yeah so you could have your pole weapon you could have your little bits of armor protecting your most vital spots i could ha probably have uh counters i could probably have uh creases and pollens now i'm just throwing out a whole bunch of armor words don't worry about what the pieces are i have my arms and legs a bit protected because those are things that also get hit but remember a lot of our historical european martial arts especially in medieval stuff these are targets. So I have just made sure that my most vulnerable of targets are protected. It's really hard to get to those spots, to my head, neck, and I still have good range of vision. I can still hear fairly well. So it all goes together. So gorget, adding that with your helm, really good protection against your most vulnerable spots in your body. So I was excited. Yeah, I bought this and I wanted to share it. So that's my post-birthday present to me because you should always buy yourself a birthday present when you're older. When you're a kid, you can get away with everyone else buying you gifts. But when, you know, that from, uh, I'm not, at my age, you know, you got to buy yourself your own gifts. And uh, that, that's a good thing because then you get what you want because you're the one who bought it. Always important. So yeah, a quick look at the gorget. We can see someone trying to stab at me, trying to get at my neck. It's really tough now. So this vulnerability is greatly reduced by wearing gorget or les gorget. No, gorget. We call it gorget. 
And your gorget. Your gorget. Protect your neck with your gorget. I don't know. <laughs> a lot of different pronunciations. And you go looking for, for how do you pronounce it. You'll find three or four different answers. Usually the answers are like, you can pronounce it one of these different ways. And that lists a few. You decide. Whatever is best for you. I'm not going to fuss. Because what's the point of that? What's the point of me being nitpicky about the exact pronunciation of a piece of armor from 600 years ago? There's no point. Right. So that's just a little look at gorget, net protection. Very important piece of armor, particularly in the 15th century. And um, thank you so much for watching. Do remember, like, subscribe, comment, all that stuff helps. Algorithms and the reach of the video and remember your comments because someone mentioned they wanted me to talk about gorget when i had that little bit of money for my birthday i bought one and now i did a video about it so you can see what it's like and get a good look riveted together on this side straps on this side kind of opens like that um but it'll take me a bit to get it off i need to go and look in the mirror so i can see what i'm doing because it is again armor when we get to this plate armor you usually have one or two people helping you put it on and take it off so that you can be properly protected and everything overlaps. Right. Anyway, thanks again. Do take care. Stay safe out there. And I will see you again on the next one. We'll probably talk about a sword.